chapter 20 of that. And this is Lee Hines, and I'll read it. The opening language. Pursuant to chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021, this meeting will be conducted by remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so via Zoom or by telephone. No in-person attendance of, me of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately address the proceedings in real time via technological means. Um, during the public comment period, the chair will recognize members of the public. When called on, please identify yourself, stating your full name, preferred pronouns, and residential address. Residents are welcome to express their views for up to three minutes at the direct, uh, discretion of the chair based on the number of people who wish to speak. No speaker can cede their time to another speaker. The AHRA will not engage in a dialogue or comment on a matter raised during public comment. To wish uh, to indicate, do we have any public? At the moment, no. So I don't have to read the rest of it. You should. Okay, that's it. Okay, so um, if you could call the meeting to order. It's Rich on? I'm on, but I can barely see you because I'm. Uh... Well, you could speak, Rich, but you're. Yeah. Pictures froze, but we can. Okay, um, so I, I think the meeting has been then called to order. Um, so I just want to inquire if anyone is recording at this time, uh, please notify me now since Town Amherst is recording this meeting. Okay, hearing none, we will move on. Uh, there is no members of the public present at this time, so we will uh, leave public participation open. And I will share my screen with you. Uh, get the uh, minutes. Do you all have a copy of the minutes? They were no, no. Um, she didn't, she didn't attach them. Okay. Do you want me to read the minutes out loud then very quickly? They're very short. That way you're all aware of what they are so we can uh, move on them or would you rather table them for next meeting? No, Rich, still can't hear Rich. Um, somebody has shut off my video so I can't get back on video. It says you cannot start your video. Be the host is at. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. Okay, there's my beautiful face. Um, um, okay. I would prefer to table the minutes until the uh, next meeting. All right. Table those. Could I have a second on that? Second. Okay. Um, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Okay. Okay. All right. Then I will share my screen again, and we will look at the excise abatements. Um, so here you see uh, excise abatements. You'll see one for the calendar year of 2019, the amount of $55.42. You will see one for calendar year 2020, uh, 2020 in the amount of $74.98. You will see one for the calendar year of 2021 in the amount of $134.98. And then you will see a bunch of them. There are. So, do you believe you are sharing your screen right now? Sorry? Do you believe you are sharing your screen right now? Yes. I can't see it. Lee, can you see the screen? Yes. But I can't see you. <laughs> I, I see your name, but I can't see your face. All right. Okay. Let's see. Um, I, I can't see the shared screen right now. Hmm. I see Lee. I see Kim. I see the room. Mm -hmm. okay, let me, I'll stop sharing and try to share again. All right. 
Are you able to see it now? Uh, no. Rich, it looks like it's on your end. Is your video camera covered or anything? Or no, I, I'm. Um, um, hang on. Um, might have to um, log on again. I don't know. This was also. Yeah. It was in the paperwork. Rich, you want to try and log off and log back on? Yeah. We do have very, very little today, so it should be okay to uh, try to eat. It's not disappearing. Richard, are you still there? Hmm. It, it, it might just replace them when he logs them in. Mm -hmm. Okay, now he's gone. We got to let him in, right? So we can't have public here. Not yet. Okay, but we can. Okay. Give him a couple more minutes and we'll keep moving forward just so that we don't. Do you have any place you can tell if he's waiting to be logged in by you? It should pop up on my screen. Oh, okay. if yeah, if he's in a You're waiting. Yeah. yeah. But we'll just wait a couple minutes and if he doesn't get back on, we will just continue yeah. on and have a forum. So, uh, we have a There he comes. There he is. We see you. Slowly appearing. There he is. Connect your audio and you'll be back with us. There he is. I think I'm back. You're back. <laughs> um, all right. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, are you able to see the, the XIC? Yeah, just barely. Uh, yeah. Can Can you expand it a little bit? There you go. Okay, so let me just start over again with these. Uh, so we have one for calendar year 2019 in the amount of 5542, one for calendar year 2020 in the amount of 7498. One for calendar year 2021 in the amount of $134.98. And then there was 39 for calendar year 2022 in the amount of $3,940.91. And this was all for the excise weeks of uh, April 4th through April 15th. Okay, I move to approve those abatements. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 April, the weeks of April 9th through April 22nd, one for calendar year 2021 in the amount of $5, and seven in the calendar year 2022 for $474.49. Oh, I move to approve those abatements. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 We have, uh, 
April 25th through April 29th, only calendar year 2022. There are 16 of them in the amount of $1,505.07. Move to approve those abatements. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Lastly, we have the weeks of May 2nd through May 6th. Again, only for calendar year 2022, there are 11 abatements totaling $748.52. I move to approve those abatements. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay, um, so on the agenda, next item is um, the warrant for motor vehicle excise. There was an issue of the side of putting it into the billing system. So we are going to skip over that for now. Um, and hopefully that will be brought forward at our next meeting. Um, so next on the list is just uh, the principal assessor update. So um, what's been happening in the office is I have attended the IAAO, which is the International Assessors Association Course 201, which is the appraisal of land. Um, that's been the past two uh, Thursdays and Fridays the past two weeks, um, and I took the test yesterday and I passed. So Congratulations! Yes, <laughs> um, <also> good. <laughs> Massachusetts Assessors Association Course 200, which is the principles of assessment procedures. Um, this is a really, really great uh, course for um, the entry level positions as well as just the admin positions. It's really uh, focusing on the things that that person does. So it's a really great course um, that's being offered every Thursday uh, for, the, for four weeks. And then the fifth week is the exam for that. So um, fingers crossed that he will do as well. Uh, how much time does he work in your area? He is in our office two days a week. So we okay. have him 15 hours a week. Um, okay. And then he's with the collectors three days a week. Hmm. Um, the other thing is that we next week I should be starting on the building permits for our new growth. Um, we have slowly begun working the revaluation um, with Roy Bishop. He was uh, contracted to do that with us. Uh, Lauren from the state has been in the office. Um, she's collected our property record cards that she had requested. She checked our maps and there's a couple other things. Um, so she can be that is, is underway. Um, so the building permits will just be another piece of that, but something that we do every year um, as well. And then- um, When you say building, we're adding them into the system. Building permits. So we've already pulled them out of the building permit uh, system yeah. and we have already put them into our system. So what we're doing is we're printing out all of those records and we are um, going out and doing the inspections of those properties. So uh, all the demolition permits will be pulled, put in a pile, and we'll be going around town to see, um, you know, what has been taken down. Um, you know, there's there's the new builds, the additions, so on and so forth, and we'll be adding those to to records. So um, roughly, how many properties you're talking? Um, I I think roughly 150 properties oh, uh, that, that should be getting inspection. Um, uh -huh. Generally, inspections such as doors and windows um, don't necessarily require an inspection, um, or I should say permits such as doors and windows. Um, for assessment purposes, that's not always going to add value or decrease value. So um, it's more, it's, it's, it's the bigger things, decks, additions, um, new builds, demolition, uh, pools, sheds, so on and so forth. Um, so we'll be looking at those and figuring out where we are at with our new growth. Um, and then otherwise, uh, it's been very, it, it's been quiet before the storm, so to speak. Um, so, you know, excise abatements, uh, address changes, deeds, all that stuff that we do on our daily basis. So pretty soon we will hit the ground fully, fully running. <laughs> so will the state revisit? The Again. state will be back. Um, we'll be working with Lauren up right up until our tax rate is set, um, basically until the end of the year to finish our revaluation. So is that finished before you send out taxes? Yes. Okay. 
yet we cannot send that text bill uh, if our revaluation is not complete for any reason. So, um, that's really all I've got for news about what's happening. Can you give us an update on the residential exemption? Yep, uh, residential exemption, we are waiting. I have put together a PowerPoint. Um, we're just waiting to hear from the council uh, when they will be able to have to hear that. Um, and then we'll just play it by ear from there when and if they decide that this is something they want to put on the ballot and um, what the procedure will be, you know, what the next steps will be on that. But at the moment, um, just waiting on the council. Oh, can you share that PowerPoint with us as a draft? I sure can. Yeah, okay. I can email that to you. And, and yeah, so Mark, do you have some idea when that presentation will take place? I thought that it was going to be sooner rather than later, but I think that it was a pretty big meeting for the council. Um, so I'm not sure right now as a, as a time frame. Looking down the road, are, um, are you working on a new member's brochure or something? So when we have new members on the committee, they can sort of get educated by looking through a brochure or a SOP or something. So they don't have to learn on the job. As are you speaking like so when us they, or are you speaking? No, to when Lee and Rich leave next year, okay. I mean, it's a year away, but. Yep, I can, I can do that. That's, that's something, something and we'd be um, happy to give you input too. That would be great. That's something that yeah. we can all work on together, I think. Yeah. Um, and also, uh, as you guys know, you do have to take the VOR 101 course within the first two years um, in order to be a certified member of the Board of Assessors. So that will help as well. But yeah. we can certainly uh, work together to put a packet together for okay. a new member. Especially what, what happens during the normal monthly meeting. Right. So they don't right. have to start asking all the questions when they first come to do it. Right. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's a great idea. Yeah. I think we should attach we should. exhibits of what will be showing up. Yeah, yeah, I think that's great. Um, what we can do is in the upcoming summer months when we're very quiet for the board of assessors, uh, maybe we could schedule a meeting specifically to yeah, uh, to talk about that. That would Give be great. A draft cut or something, whatever you want. Yeah, that that that's a great idea. Okay. Is when you two leave at the same time, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> it's supposed to be staggered terms. <laughs> All right, well, with that being said, um, we can discuss our um, time frame for our next meeting before we go into executive session. Um, so it looks like it will be June. Bear with me, I'm just looking at the calendar. Okay, so we are looking at, uh, if you want to stick to Thursdays, we're looking at the 5th, the 12th, the 19th. We have the 25th on the calendar. Which one do you? Oh, wait a minute. That would be the, the 9th, the 16th, and the, and, the, and the 23rd, I believe. Also, I know there's some things going on in the office. Um, I just want to open the other calendar so that I can make sure not to double book anybody. Okay, so yes, uh, June 2nd, 9th, 16th, or 23rd. I, ha I have it scheduled on the 16th already. Oh, that works. Just want to make sure that that works for everybody else. Hey. What, what time? Are you guys okay with keeping the 9.30 meeting? Yes. Okay. okay. That will be a hybrid where we could come if we wanted. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm. This is my last Zoom meeting. I am going to be in the building. Whatever we do, I'm coming next time. What is? What is? You were told you had to stay home. Yes. Yeah, so for the hybrid meetings, uh, the has full to board home. has to be um, one person at least. In our case, because we have three, has to be home. Oh, um, yeah. 
just for protocol. Um, this was just a test to see how this was working and um, technologi technologically, it seems to be uh, pretty good. Uh, I mean, I'll, be, I'll be happy to stay home next time if you want. That's fine. Thank you. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so before we go into public session, I just want to reiterate that the, uh, sorry, executive session, I just want to reiterate that the next meeting will be Thursday, June 16th at 9.30 via Zoom. Unless we hear otherwise, then we can do fully in person, but I believe at the moment it will be via Zoom. Board members will be hybrid. Um, and so what will be discussed in executive session is the approval or denial of a personal exemption. Um, and we can touch on an overvaluation. I didn't get to complete it yet, but um, I would like to just discuss that very quickly and then we can vote on that um, at the next meeting. We should All right. I move to go into executive session for those purposes and not to return to public session. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 I'm going to stop recording at this moment. And again, we intend to uh, close.